Ndiyo na yule jamaa nitamwambia nimeona sina hela ya kuendea kila siku
Hello guys, uh, this is Mr. Market Switch. Uh, we are about to start guys, we are about to start. If you have a friend that you know is supposed to be here, make sure you consult them, make sure you notify them so that we may, we may start with them guys. It's very important for everybody to be here so that we may go together. In a few minutes to come, we are going to start. Remember today, our focus today will be on market chart patterns or market makers chart patterns. How to identify chart patterns and how to use them uh, to use them in your in your trading schedule. Remember today, our topic will be on identifying chart patterns and how to use them, how to use those chart patterns in trading and our focus the main focus on chart patterns will be uh, how to identify head and shoulder and how to use them professionally how to use head and shoulder professionally in in trading but only head and shoulder we also uh, look at the opposite of which which we, we, we call it inverse of head and shoulder the inverse of head and shoulder, how to use the inverse of head and shoulder in trading. Uh, double top, double top pattern, double, uh, double bottom patterns. Uh, we're going to learn how to use also triple top, triple top patterns, how to identify triple top and how to use the triple top and the inverse of, uh, of it, which all, uh, triple bottom not only that we're going also to see if we can uh we can also use a uh, triangle uh descending and ascending triangle identification of descending and ascending triangle in in the trade in, in, in our trading so those are the most important part of today's uh lesson so uh make sure guys you stay with me as we go through as we go through it so it's very important because you know when the market is moving guys uh market makers tend to to create this, some sort of patterns in the market that 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 shows or that defines something that tells us what to do or where the market uh might be moving to so uh it's not it's not something that happens accidentally or by coincidence it's something that happens by reason. Something that happened by reason. Uh, those patterns that you see uh, happening in the market, they are there purposefully. They're just not happening. They're just not created without, without a reason behind it. They are created with a specific reason. Why they happen, why uh, they make those kind of patterns and uh, the essence behind, behind each and the each one of them. So guys, uh, give me some few minutes before I share my screen so that you, we may start from there. Thank you.
Okay, guys. Um, let, let me now share my screen. Remember, I have already explained that uh, uh, today our focus will be on market chart patterns uh, according to our course outline. So today we focus mainly on, on chart patterns, guys. Today we focus only on chart patterns. If you can hear me well, make sure you let me know, guys. You can just write something on the uh, right side, on the chat page on your right side, if you can hear me very well. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, right now, I'll be sharing my screen. I'll share my screen, guys, uh, so that uh, we may proceed from there. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the first thing that we are going to uh, search for today, the first chart patterns that we are going to search for today is head and shoulder. How to find head and shoulder. Remember, guys, I have not prepared anything yet as a sample, but we are going to just to, to find it together here, right here on this on this on this chat on this on this presentation so we're going just to look at different pairs so that we may come up with something that we need we're going to search for head and shoulder patterns uh on, on four hours time frame just we're going, to, going to, to to search on four hours time frame so that we may see if we have uh what we are looking for we are looking for head and shoulder patterns after finding head and shoulder patterns then we are going to learn out out of it, how now to use it in trading? How now to use it in, in trading, guys? So that's very important. It's very important. It's very important, guys. So how, what, uh, how, 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 what kind of, of pattern are we going to check for? Head and shoulder patterns might look at this, uh, might look this way, guys. So uh, it might look this way. The one that we are going to look at it might look this way. Uh, we're going to look, check for something that resemble, resemble this kind of pattern. Resemble this kind of pattern. So this is what we are going to look at, guys. We're going to find on the chart. If we can see something like this, we're going to find on the chart. We're going to find on the chart. If we can see something like this, see guys, this is shoulder, the left shoulder, this is the right shoulder, and the one here, the one here is what? The one there is what is the head. So it might not very it might not be very clear, just like this one. Sometimes uh head and shoulder might look uh a little bit different it might be look it might look somehow rough uh, it might be seen like this okay sometimes head and shoulder might look like that see but it's the head and shoulder this is the shoulder left shoulder this is the right shoulder see guys and this is the head so don't look for something perfect head, head in the shoulder doesn't mean something that uh, if you put uh, your uh, your crochet there maybe it has to the, the first shoulder has to be exactly at the same point as the other shoulder no no it should not be like that it has to show clearly the head the head must must be somewhere somewhere above above both shoulder the, the left shoulder and the right shoulder if the head is above uh, both the left shoulder and the right shoulder it doesn't really matter where the the, the the position of other of other shoulder uh, uh, compared to the to the other one it, it might be a different position or different point as you can see the, the left shoulder is at this point and the right the, the right shoulder is somewhere below uh, the left shoulder you see so so you can see but uh, it does to mean it's not the head and shoulder. It's the head and shoulder, and it represented exactly the same thing that we are looking for in the market. So this is exactly uh, is, is exactly uh, the same 
as what you witness in this pair. This is uh, uh, this is crude oil, guys. This is crude oil, and uh, since I'm using paper stone broker, they they represent crude oil as X I X X T I U S D X T I U S D. So so guys, this is a uh, this is a crude oil, and you can see crude oil. We have this point here. We have another point there, and uh, we have the other point somewhere here so this one might also stand for head and shoulder remember head and shoulder head and shoulder pattern is a bearish is a bearish confirmation pattern is a bearish pattern head and shoulder is a bearish pattern uh, inverse of head and shoulder inverse of head and shoulder is a bullish pattern but head and shoulder is a bearish pattern it is the pattern that represent bearish market you can see guys we have here we have this we have this thing here the market went up there uh, you can see made a pullback that created head and you can see this one here you can call this I'll call this one a uh, what? Uh, a, a shoulder. So this is the the left shoulder. This is the right shoulder. Right, guys. Let me add something that's very important for you. One of the most important thing with head and shoulder is head and shoulder might represent multiple patterns in it. It might represent multiple patterns in it. Inside head and shoulder, you might find you might find uh, uh, M pattern or W pattern inside of head and shoulder, both head and shoulder and inverse of head and shoulder. Uh, inside of head and shoulder, you might find M pattern. Inside inverse of head and shoulder, you might find W pattern, and both represent represent uh, either bearish or bullish market. It depends if it's a head and shoulder or uh, inverse of head and shoulder. For the case of head and shoulder, for the case of head and shoulder, it's not something strange to find inside the head and shoulder another pattern which is uh, is either triple top, double top. Double top means M pattern. So it's not a strange thing to find uh, 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 head and shoulder with other pattern in it. What am I? What I'm saying is this: if you check this head and shoulder here. This is head, this is left shoulder, this is the right shoulder. You find another pattern inside, especially uh, in the head. You can see in the head, we have M pattern. You can see M pattern here, guys. Uh, you can see M pattern here. It's called a multiple, uh, multiple patterns, multiple patterns inside the major pattern. Major pattern here is head and shoulder. But inside that head and shoulder, we find another pattern in it, which is M pattern. And there's something strange, something magic about it is uh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if we, uh, if we have another pattern in it, but the other pattern, the other pattern will also represent the same thing as the major pattern. You can see M pattern also represent bearish market. The major pattern represent the major pattern, which is head and shoulder, represent bearish market. And the other pattern, which is inside the head and shoulder, also represent bearish market, which is M pattern. Now, how how now are we going to use how now are we going to use this to trade? If you find a major pattern like this, which is head and shoulder, and the major pattern contains another pattern in it, for example, M pattern, especially on the head head of the major pattern, which is head and shoulder. And inside the head, you find another pattern, which is M pattern. Guys, you start, you start taking your trade, or you start considering taking your position using the, 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 the minor pattern inside the major pattern, which is M pattern. Why? Because the minor pattern, which is M pattern, start with the head. And when you start with the head, means you start you start with that, you, you, you take the, the trade at the earliest stage, you take the trade at the earliest, uh, earliest stage before the market shows you 
the major, its major party. For example, someone who took the trade, who took the trade at the second candle, at the, at, the, at the second candle, this one here, after creating, after showing that this market is now creating uh, the M pattern, the, the other leg of M pattern, you wait until this candle finishes, then you take the trade at the other candle, which will also will, will show a clear formation of the other leg. Then you take a trade at this, at the initial stage of formation of this candle. If someone took the trade at, at this stage, that means the guy had a great advantage of making a lot of profit pips before the market showing you that it has another pattern, which is now a major pattern of head and shoulder. See so guys, so this is very important. It's very important when trading in the forest market to consider that. So, especially uh, for, for instance, if you missed this point, if you missed the trade at this point, now the market is also showing you another opportunity that we have a, a, a head, we have left shoulder, we have now the creation of a right shoulder. So you wait until you see, until you see that the market is indeed forming another shoulder. So you wait until the formation of this candle. Then you take a trade at the other candle, uh, which will also show you a clear formation of the other leg of, of the other shoulder, which this can you take the trade at this candle. If you miss this move now, you don't need to miss this move here now. Because if you miss this move at the formation of uh, M pattern, then we have another pattern which is showing you. Uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, a major head and shoulder pattern. Then you take a trade at this level. Then you you trade you take it your trade at this candlestick here, guys. You see what I'm uh, what, what I'm what I mean, guys. Take a trade at this candle. Now, why is this why is this happening? Remember, guys, the market keeps forming this structure nonstop. It's forming this structure nonstop in the market. It happens. It happens, if not in higher time frame, it will happen in, in smaller time frame. If you can't see these patterns in higher time frame, like four hours, make sure, be sure that this thing is formed at one minute time frame, or five minutes time frame, or 15 minutes time frame. And that's why you have to screen the market in all time frame. Screen the market at least in all time frame. See what the market is doing at one minute time frame, See what the market is doing at five minutes time frame. See what the market is doing at 15 minutes time. Screen the market to be sure of your end. To be sure of your end, guys, make sure you screen the market. Use a multi time frame strategy. Use a multi time frame strategy to scan the market. Use multi time frame, strat uh, multi -time frame strategy to, to scan your market, guys. This is very important. Why? Because you have to make sure that you have a better end. You have the right end before you take your trade. It's very important. So this is how it is, guys. This is how it is. Now, let's end this there. And now let's search for another uh, another pair so that we can look for these patterns. Remember, we're dealing with head and shoulder. We haven't yet come to inverse of head and shoulder. It's very important for you to know that. It's very important for you to keep that in mind, guys, because that's where we're heading right now. Remember, we are just using, we are looking for these patterns on a four hours time frame. We have to change that yet. We have to change that yet. Uh, let's, let's see if we can, uh, we can get uh, another patterns, another pattern. Let's check if we can get another pattern uh, using uh, these stops, using these stops. All right, guys, okay, okay. Uh, head and shoulder. We're looking for head and shoulder, guys. We're looking for head and shoulder. Uh, we're looking for head and shoulder. Let's let's check for as many pairs as possible. We are looking for head and shoulder. We're looking for head and shoulder for the purpose of learning. For the purpose of learning. learning. Okay. We are looking for head and shoulder on any pair, be it commodity, 
be it uh, if we uh, if you can help me guys if you can see if you can see a, 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 a what if you can see head and shoulder pattern and a time frame and a time frame guys if you can see head and shoulder and a time frame please let me know let me know that guys let me know that if you can see that let me know uh, maybe someone okay wow wow this is wonderful Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Canadian dollar Swiss franc, four hours time frame. Canadian dollar Swiss franc, four hours time frame, guys. Are we there? Thank you. All right. Now, what are we going to look at this? Uh, we have a clear, wow, it's a very clear, very clear, very clear head and shoulder, guys. Very clear head and shoulder. If you check at this, you see, you see, guys, we have, uh, we have this, this is the head, the peak there the head you can see the head there remember we are not we are not just looking at any other thing as apart from chart patterns we are not looking at the levels we are not looking at any market makers movement we are just looking at the formation of market makers part chart patterns and how you can just just check part chart patterns and trade just chart patterns you're not counting the levels you're just using the chart patterns because these chart patterns guys are the reversal chart patterns of the market they show you that the possibility the market might change the direction the previous the previous direction uh and that is very important so head and shoulder is uh is a bearish chart patterns you can see we have head there we have this is the shoulder this is the left shoulder and this one here this one here is the right shoulder guys this one here is the right shoulder nice so you can see guys how clear this is you can see how clear this is so we have head we have left shoulder we have right shoulder see guys it's very important it's very important now now uh since we have head we have shoulder we have sh we have left shoulder and we have right shoulder means it's very clear that we we must have what we call we must have what we call neckline the neckline you see if this is your head if this is your head guys that means you have shoulder shoulder we have neckline neckline of this so you can see the neckline here you see the neckline if you consider uh, the laws of the shadow see this is the neckline this is the neckline guys see this is the neckline uh, neckline. This see this uh, the neckline. So we have we have this. All right. Now, guys, this is now very clear. Remember, when you see head and shoulder, you you have also to uh, to show the neckline. This neckline is very important. Neckline is very important. You, uh, you can draw it at the closing price, the closing price of the candles. Or you can just consider to be more precise and more accurate you have to consider the laws of the shadow the laws of the week the week you can see that you consider where the market reached before closing the prices or opening the prices you see guys so this is very important this is very important so this one here is our neckline uh, the one there is our our neckline guys so this is the neckline this is the right shoulder this is the left shoulder this is the head now what is it now how do we use uh, uh let's say this one is not there Let, let's go let's assume that this one is not there you find just the market above the neckline you find the market has already formed this candle and this candle and now it's just about to drop so guys if you you see the market has already formed the left shoulder the right shoulder and you see the market is now showing the formation of is now showing the clear formation of the other shoulder you just wait for the first candle uh the first candle you might take the trade at the at the at the second candle or to be more precise or more clear you just take the trade at the third candle see guys that the third candle but since this is a bearish market that means you'll be selling this and your stop loss will be somewhere 
above at least 20 pips, 25 pips, or, or at least you might consider, you might consider 25 pips from the levels of the shoulder, from the levels of both shoulder, or you might consider to put your, your stop loss. If it's a sure stop loss, that means you put stop loss above the head. Why above the head? Because the market will not distort these patterns easily. The market will, will respect the head and shoulder patterns. You see, guys, the market will respect the head and shoulder patterns. It will not just occur easily, the distortion of this pattern. It has to respect it. How to respect? It has to sell in order to, 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 to show the definition of these patterns. So this is very important. It has to sell to respect the formation of this. It has to complete the body. It has to, to form the body after forming the head and shoulder. So the whole body has to appear. You can see the market respected uh, the, the head and shoulder patterns. And then you can see the market has already formed the whole body. It has to show the whole body after forming the head and shoulder. Oh, there is not a complete person without the, the body. Uh, it has to show the body, form the body, guys. So, so this is what I mean, guys. So this is how you use head and shoulder, head and shoulder patterns. This is how we use and how you identify and use it uh, at your advantage. Make sure, guys, uh, remember these patterns. These patterns, guys, these patterns, these patterns keep on form, keeps on forming at any time frame. But if you use it at higher time frame, you see something clear. That's why I use more four hours time frame. You see, guys? So this is very important. This is very important uh, to use it that way. It's very important to use it that way. All right, guys. I need to know if we have any question on head and shoulder, on head and shoulder, mm -hmm. before we proceed on the inverse of head and shoulder. You see, we have checked it, head and shoulder. Now let's look at the inverse. Now let's to, uh, look at the inverse of head and shoulder. Before I go to the inverse of head and shoulder, I want to come back to you guys. All right, guys. Now share uh, if you have any question. Okay, Mr. Arshad no, uh, is saying no question. Thank you, Mr. Arshad. Anyone else, if you have any question, guys, before we proceed in the next part? Okay, uh, the use of neckline. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go back to the neckline. Let's go back to the neckline, guys. Oh, Mr. Mr. Tomkit has, has, has reminded me something that's very important. Let me, let me go, let, let us go back to the, to the chat. Uh, I have to explain the use. I have to explain the use of neckline. All right, guys. So this this was our neckline. This was our neckline. So what is the use of neckline? The use of neckline is very important because uh, this neckline here is very important because it, it it's, it's it's the support. It acts as a support of the head and shoulder. It acts as the support of head and shoulder. Once this neckline is broken. Once, once this neckline is broken, once there is a breakout of this neckline, that means we are sure, we are, we are 90% 90, 90 sure that the drop, the drop will, be, will, will be on our side. The drop will, will occur, and, and uh, this is very important. So this, since, this one act as, uh, since this one act as what? As support of, of our head and shoulder, since this one act as support of, one, uh, of, our, of, 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 of what? Of our... Our, our, since this one acts as a support of our pattern, that means we expect once this one is broken, maybe the breakout, may, uh, we might see the breakout at the early stage on the closing, on the opening price, or at the shadow, or the week. So what we expect there, what we expect after the breakout is retest. We expect after the breakout, we expect the retest. You can see the market respected that, it made a retest. The retest here was very huge. You can see the market even pushed it. Uh, back up to the uh, up to the uh, up to the level of the shoulder, up to the level of what of our right shoulder. Then after that, uh, there was a huge drop. So this neckline acts as support, and uh, it shows you that uh, once there is a breakout on this support, then the market will keep on dropping. The market will keep on dropping, and that is very important. The neckline is very important uh, in that way. And uh, it's, it's very good to draw it and uh, look for the retest uh, so that you have more position to find the re-end uh, on that. 
I think it's very clear. If we, if we have any other question, please. Mr. Uh, Mr. Nyabusan. Oh, okay. Maybe I should ask Mr. Tomkid if we are, we are we, Mr. Tomkid, are we, are, we, are we right there? Are we done with that or anything else? Okay, Mr. Musa Nyabusan is, uh, is asking, is this pattern at any trade or uh, at any trade of, 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 of reversal? No, no, no. You see, we have a lot of patterns, Mr. Musa, Mr. Musa Nyabusan. Uh, we have a lot of patterns formed. We have a lot of patterns formed. It's not, you, you can't just expect to see uh, head and shoulder. We have a pattern, double top, triple top. We have uh, 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 descended triangle, ascended triangle. It depends. It depends. Uh, you are looking uh, with what kind of opportunity you are looking at the market. If you are looking at the at the bearish bearish uh, opportunity, that means you expect to see you see head and shoulder. Uh, or if not head and shoulder, if you can see head and shoulder, we can see uh, um, M pattern double top, or we can see triple pattern, or we can see uh, descending triangle, or other patterns that might be might might be formed there. So we we expect these patterns different patterns we have you uh, market makers had have, have has to form a certain pattern in order to do a reverse it has to happen uh, uh, if it's uh, uh, something different it has to be uh, uh, due to a fundamental or news uh, sometimes you can see the, the news formed without uh, the, the, the movement formed as a result of the news uh, uh, no patterns, but uh, most of time, most of time, we have patterns because even even if a fundamental uh, act according to the to the to the price action or to this uh, market makers uh, uh, chart patterns that have been formed in the market, so it's very clear that we thank you, Mr. Musa. I think we are clear on that. Any other question, guys, before we proceed to the inverse of head and shoulder? Remember, we are going to uh, we are going now to check for the inverse of head and shoulder. Okay, uh, Mr. Larry, so this pattern normally occurred on the zones, either demand zone or supply zone, that gives, gives us a trade signal. Is it, is, it, is it okay? Yes, okay. This is something important, Mr. Larry, that you have just said. Uh, These this, this, this patterns are formed at the zones. They are formed at the zones. Uh, they are formed at the zones. We are just going to look at something here right now which we already discussed about it in the previous presentation. Uh, we are going to look at, the, at this pair called USD Canadian dollar. I think it's, it will be very clear to most of people because we discussed it when we started and uh, it's, it's, it, 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 it has formed exactly the same thing that Mr. Larry you're asking. You can see it has formed the patterns at the demand zone. It has formed the patterns at the demand zone. Demand zone or supply zone. This zone, we are looking, wherever you see this, Wherever you see these chart patterns are formed, uh, be sure that these patterns will occur at those areas. Either demand zone, it has to, it, it might be a major zone or minor zone, but they are zone, either demand zone or supply zone. And once they, they, they occur at those zones, you can, you can see uh, uh, the formation of, of reversal so, so it's, it, it, it happen. It, 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 it does happen on those demand zones. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Larry, for asking that important question. Any other question, guys, before we proceed on the next level? Another question, please. If we have another question, I want us to move on and uh, on something. Okay, since we do not have any other question, let's go direct to the inverse of head and shoulder. Inverse of head and shoulder. Let me share my screen again, guys. And uh, this time, let's check. Let's check. Let's check this pair that I just mentioned, uh, USD Canadian dollar. Remember, we we discussed about USD Canadian dollar when Canadian dollar. We discussed about USD Canadian dollar when Canadian dollar was just at this level, when Canadian dollar was just at this level. And uh, remember what we said, guys. Remember what we said uh, uh, that last time we were discussing about support and resistance. Do you remember we were discussing about support and resistance? And remember we we drew. We drew this support in resistance and so on and so forth. We we had a drawing of all, all these areas, guys. We had uh, we have we had a drawing of those areas. So remember, guys. We also had this. You see, this is the closing and the opening price. We consider that, and uh, this was our neckline. 
neckline of what remember you can see this chart pattern this is a w pattern but inside this uh, in this w pattern this is a w pattern but this w pattern is is is, in, is in inside another pattern is inside another pattern major pattern which is which is what which is which is inverse of head and shoulder you see the inverse of head and shoulder here guys let me show you let me show you guys it's not very clear but you can see it it's not very clear but you can see it. let me show you guys you can see you can see this one here this is the inverse of head and shoulder you can see this one here you can see this is the uh, the right shoulder and uh, you can see this one here this one here in the left shoulder see guys and this one here the whole of this one here the whole of this one here in the head the whole of this one here in the head but you can see uh, on the head we have <laughs> double top okay, double bottom sorry we have double bottom uh, that be part of here so the head is the one that 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 can show us uh, the multiple pattern inside the major pattern you can see but this one is the head do we have have this one the left shoulder and the right shoulder and you can see the neckline where is the neckline you can ask me where the neckline neckline is very clear here guys you can see the neckline line is here i might consider this one if you consider the root so this is the head, the neckline this is the neckline this is the neckline. You might wonder, you see, guys, uh, we are we are just we are just seeing something that's very interesting. You see what? Uh, last time when we we just used the support and resistance, you see, uh, we, we we are at this level, and we said this one is going to buy, and uh, you can see the market has already moved how many pips up. The market has already moved the hundred pips. Can you imagine a hundred pips guys just using support and resistance we just used support and resistance and today i'm showing something else i'm showing you guys something else and what is it this is chart patterns inverse of head and shoulder but inside inverse of head and shoulder we have we have another pattern this is called multiple patterns formation Remember the one that that has multiple patterns, multiple patterns formation is the head and shoulder, either head and shoulder or inverse of head and shoulder. The one that you can expect to see another pattern in it, which is the M pattern uh, or W pattern or triple top or triple triple bottom. You can see here we have head, and inside the head we have W pattern, and uh, you can see the W pattern, the, the neckline of the W pattern here is this one. See guys. So you have to consider. You have to consider all possibilities. You have to consider. You have to. You must have a thin eye to see everything that is formed in the market. And these things that are being formed in the market are just are not just formed roughly. I told you earlier that uh, in the previous presentation that uh, this 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 forex market is mathematically calculated. Nothing is just being formed here uh, roughly. They just make this formation in a mathematical way, guys. It's very important. The thing, the thing that you, that you see this market is in a rough way is because you don't not you, you, you do not look at it uh, uh, in a third eye. You have to look at it in a third eye. You must have many eyes of looking at the market. And here's what I'm teaching you guys, to have many eyes of looking at the market so that you can see the market the way that other traders doesn't see it. You see, guys, if you look at the market this way, in different ways, under support resistance, under match chart patterns, and we have a lot of stuff that we will be learning in the future. If you, if you master all these stuff, guys, there is no way that you should not be you should not become a master in this thing. The other problem that most of us are facing is psychology, emotion. 
how to master our, our emotions, how to control our emotion in the market, how to trust the process, how to be patient in the market. That's the problem. Remember, uh, just guess if you were patient. I know most of you are not holding this trade anymore because you just made some pips when the market went up to this level, you just got, got out of it. It's not your own problem. It's also my problem, guys. It's not just your problem. It's also my problem. We are fighting not only my problem. It's also a problem of many traders out there. Why? Because we have limited capital. And that's why we cannot hold these trades for long. We just, we cannot hold blues for such long time. Uh, we can hold the reds, but not blues. Why? Because we cannot control emotions. We are not patient enough. We do not trust the process to the maximum. We, 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 we are not sure if the market will just respect our analysis to the maximum, just like this. See, 100 pips. Just guess if you had one lot size and you, were, you had a respect of holding this trade, that means you, you, you'll be making $1,000. Now, all right, guys. So this is what I mean. The same thing, the same thing. You can see the market made a breakout, made a breakout. The market made a breakout there up to this point, and it came back to do a retest. You can see this retest. You see this candle, guys? This was a retest. Retest, then boom. Boom. See, guys? It's very strange. It's very magical. <laughs> it's very magical. So these patterns, these are the trespass, these are the things, these are the foot, footsteps of market makers in the market. You have to know the footsteps of market makers. They are, they are showing these things. You see, they are not, th these people are not from, from another planet. They are from this same planet. If they could make this thing happen that way, that means we, cannot, we, can, we can see the way they are moving. We can see how they are moving in the market. And I'm here, guys, to show you how these guys are doing the thing in the market. And once you understand how these things are done in the market, guys, you'll be able to make money. And you have to make money. This is how we make money. So this is the inverse of head and shoulder. I have no time to bring more examples, but this is very clear, guys. And this is how you make money in the price market. Any other question? Any question, guys, before we jump into something else? Because the other part that we're going to discuss is... Uh, is uh, it's something that you already discussed because we are going to discuss about double top, uh, double top, double top, double bottom. And we already discussed about double bottom here. You see, when we discussed about, uh, when we discussed about what, about head and shoulder, inverse of head and shoulder, we also discussed about double top. We also discussed about double top because you can see W pattern, M pattern, but it's formed also inside another multi time frame, uh, multi multiple, uh, uh, multiple, uh, multiple chart patterns probably in there in the market. All right, guys. Any question? If you have question before I proceed. Do you see what I mean, guys? Do you, do you get something there, guys? Is it clear? I want to know if it's clear. Yes, you can write something there. Or if you want to speak, you can say something. All right, Mr. Arshad, thank you. All right, so it's very clear. It's very clear. Thank you, Mr. Arshad. Thank you, Mr. Tomkins. Thank you, Mr. Musa. Wow. So we are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. Mr. Herodi, thank you. Okay, good. We are going somewhere, guys. We are going somewhere. I'm very happy. You know, I'm a teacher by profession, and I like when I get this positive response. Guys, we are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. Uh, anything else? Mr. Howard, Sheila, anything you want to say? Are we together? After WOM is formed, how many pips can, we, can, can, can a market move? Mr. Alani? And father is asking how many pips, how many pips can the market move? Okay, let me show you. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I didn't discuss this. I didn't discuss this before, but let me show you something, guys. You see this neckline here? Sorry, let me share. Let me share the screen first. Let me share the screen. Let me share the screen, guys. Guys, pay attention to this. It's very magical. Pay attention to this. Mr. Alan El Fadi has asked me something that's very important. And this time we're going to just consider head and shoulder, inverse or uh, inverse, and uh, you, you can also use it on other chart patterns. Can you see this? Can you see this, guys? I've just shared the screen now. Look at this. This was our neckline. 
and this is, was our head. Do you see this level? This is the level where head is, and this is the level where neckline is. Now, if you want to know how many pips, how, how, how long this market can move, and how many pips this market can make the maximum movement after breakout on the neckline, the maximum movement after breakout on the neckline, just draw, take your trend line, just draw a straight horizontal line from the neckline to the level of what? To the level where the head is started, like just like that. Then I just write, I, I just double click this and I take this line, I take this line and put it and put it from neckline above it. You can see from neckline above it. And from there, I just draw a horizontal line at the top there. Now I measure, I measure the pips from neckline after the breakout from this point to that point. See? So this is simple, guys. This is to say that after the breakout, after the breakout of the neckline, after the breakout of the neckline, the market will move exactly the same distance, the maximum target. It might be, uh, it might be uh, more than that, but the maximum target that you have to target is exactly the same distance from the head to the neckline after breakout of the neckline. So the maximum target should be that one. And something magic about this is, if you check the, if you check the, 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 the distance from neckline after the breakout to, the, to, the, to, the, to, to, to this point, the same, the, exactly the same distance of the neckline from the head to the neckline and from the breakout of the neckline to this point, you can see the other target will be exactly at the area where there is a strong resistance or there is there was a resistance in the previous a lot of rejection you can see the levels so it's obvious exactly the same that the same thing the same behavior might happen at this level so you can see this is the free zone this is the free zone the market might move up to this point before uh reversing so guys this is how to answer mr allen question it was a very important question because I, 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 of course, I prepared to explain this, but I just forgotten. And Mr. Alan has just reminded me, and now here it is. The same thing I have done uh, to invest of head and shoulder. You, you do the same thing on the head and shoulder. You just draw the neckline, then you measure the distance from the head to the neckline, and then you take that the same distance to measure it to somewhere where you expect the market will, will, will reach. That will be the distance that you have to consider as your maximum target. Guys, I think this is very clear. Thank you, and God bless you. Another question? Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Alan. Mr. Alan, thank you, Mr. Jerry. Mr. Jerry is saying perfect. Wow, wow. Oh, I like that one. We are together now. Mr. Alan, uh, Mr. Alan Elefante, are we together now there? Wow, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, all right, all right. Okay, any other question? I think we, we, uh, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing greater to give you a chance to ask a question because um, I'm getting things that I was supposed to explain here. All right, guys, any other question before we go to another thing, another question? In fact, we are going just to explain about, uh, uh, oh, Mr. Tomkin, Mr. Tomkin is saying this is another lesson late. Okay, maybe I should recommend to you, if you, you, have, if you go to our library, just find the book by the name Price Action, Ultimate, Ultimate Price Action. Price Action, you, you, just, you just see those people uh, explain the same thing uh, to what I've just explained. Price Action, go directly to chart patterns. You can see this uh, people, uh, uh, the one who has written that book explain the same thing uh, concerning uh, the, the targets that you should consider when, when, when using patterns. And uh, they just did, they just uh, uh, did the same thing as, as what I, I, I just I just told to you here. Okay, guys. Any other thing? That's why, uh, Mr. Tomkin. That's why it's very important for you guys to have mentorship because you keep adding something new. You see, you you today you have you have something new. 
you, you have a, a new lesson learned today. Why? Because you are here. Uh, just, just, just think of yourself if you're not here. That means it will, it will take uh, many, many years maybe to come or many days for you to discover this. But you already now understand about this. You see, uh, you haven't read the book by maybe price action, but uh, you can see you already got it here. All right, guys, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Any question? Any question? Any question, please? Okay, any question? Any question? Okay, no question, no question. So uh, let's go to, uh, to uh, double top and the double bottom. Double top and double bottom. So I share my screen again. Maybe we start with double bottom because we already have the chart here. Remember this was head and shoulder, but let's just, let's just say we do not have inverse of head and shoulder. Let's just say you, just, you didn't see that. Let's just say you didn't see that and maybe you just saw you just saw uh, you just saw what maybe you just saw uh, double bottom w pattern you just saw w pattern remember double bottom is also called the w uh, double bottom is also you can also regard it as a w pattern let's say you didn't see inverse of head and shoulder and let's say you just saw you just saw what you just saw this this what uh, this w pattern double bottom let's say you just saw this double bottom you see see this guys Let's say you just saw, you just saw this. Huh? The same thing. This is the W pattern. W pattern. No, now, what next after that? What next after that? You go to neckline. Where the neckline? This one. This is your neckline. Remember, this is the W pattern, guys. Okay. Wait, let's just draw it clear. Okay, okay, so uh, this is how it is. This is how it is, guys. This is a W pattern. So this is the neckline. Neckline. You can see. You can see, guys. This was W pattern. You can see the market made a breakout there. Uh, then, kind of retest. Then, Boom. <laughs> See, guys, it's, uh, it's very magic. Yeah? You know, I like this one. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, guess, guess if someone is trading and he doesn't know about this, this, this stuff, you'll be suffering a lot. You'll be suffering a lot. When it, it, when it started selling here, you could think now, ah, it's now a selling, guys. I'm going to sell up to this point and guess what happened. <laughs> You see, uh, this is why you need to learn about these stuff, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's look at this. Now you can see the same formula is being used. What is the maximum target? Maximum target on W pattern. You can see. Maximum target on W pattern. Then take this one. Just put it there. Okay. You see, this was the maximum target of what of W pattern. Remember, we are dealing with W pattern. This was the maximum target. But but for someone who was looking not only on W pattern, also looking at the inverse of head and shoulder, still we have a chance to continue. But someone who was just looking at the smaller picture of W pattern, double bottom, uh, maybe he could end somewhere here. Uh, remember, it's also around this rejection. Uh, something remarkable. You see, guys, we, we did the same thing when we discussed about support and resistance. We had a, uh, the first target at this level. Do you remember? So you can see the same thing. We just measured the distance from, from the neckline to the, the, uh, to, the, to the bottom. Then we took the same distance and put it there. Then exactly what? The, the same area. See? Okay. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I love this. I love when I explain about this. Uh, it's <laughs> I like this one. So guys, it's, it's, it's this one. You can see. You can see how wonderful it is. You can see how wonderful it is. It makes sense, yeah? You see? It makes sense indeed. So uh, uh, you just do it like this. And uh, once... Uh, now, when, when to take a trade? If you see the market has already created uh, the first, the first, the first uh, bottom, and it just that, does like that, then it's coming down. Just do something like this. You just wait for the first candle on and the, the, uh, the first candle and the second candle. The third candle, you can, you can take a trade at the third candle. 
uh, when it's creating, it's creating uh, the second leg, the second leg, then you take a trade maybe at, the second, uh, at this candle, it was kind of selling, but uh, you just put the stop loss, just put the stop loss some 25 pips from. If you just took a trade somewhere here, just put your stop loss 25 pips from the, from the, from the double bottom area. Then you just take a trade. Then your first target should be at the neckline. You should aim at the neckline. Maybe you had a, a two or three position. Your first position, your first target, uh, your first trade should uh, should be uh, take profit should be somewhere at the neckline. And uh, the other, you just leave other position to run, keep running for the second target. And if you saw this formation of the inverse trading shoulder, the the third uh, position should be the target should be somewhere here, somewhere. Uh, somewhere it was somewhere here i think uh, it was somewhere here so uh, uh, at this uh, up to this moment you have another one position running uh waiting to take your 30 30 target 30 take profit so uh it's, this is the way we keep we keep trading but uh if you had a problem in taking pro trades somewhere here uh you you could take a trade after the retest after this pullback then you have the re-end, you take a trade, then your target should be here, and then you continue just like that. You continue just like that, guys. You continue just like that. I think we are together on this double bottom. The same way I have explained on double bottom is the same way you should trade on the double top. I don't think we have to go to the, uh, to the double top. Maybe just for the sake of identifying, you can see we had this uh, crude oil. So we can just use crude oil, guys. This was an pattern. Then you come, you see we have what we have neckline there. So you just measure. Uh, you just measure. Remember, this M pattern start from from this from this from this uh, stop hand there. Then you measure the distance from here to here. Then the same distance. You consider your target, uh, your maximum target. Just after that, you can see, guys. It's exactly where we wanted, and uh, then if you were able to check for the uh, uh, head and shoulder, head and shoulder, head because that is as head and shoulder, you could see another opportunity. So make sure that wherever you see M, wherever you see uh, W A O M pattern, double top or, to, uh, or to double top or double bottom, just make sure you look for another formation of one for the formation of another pattern which is head and shoulder, because the the the, the, the M the one which is considered as M pattern, M could also turn into uh, into head and uh, formation of, uh, of of other shoulders. Then you continue selling. So guys, it's very important for you to consider that. It's very important for you to focus on that. Thank you guys, and uh, God bless you. If we have a question there, maybe any question, any question, guys. I want to receive some question before before uh, we proceed. Question, please. If there is no question. Just allow me to continue. Any question, Mr. Musa, Tom Kidd, Mr. Howard, Mr. Arshad? Any question? Do we have question there? Clear. Thank you. It's clear. Mr. Herod is saying it's clear. Okay. Okay. It's clear. It's clear indeed. No question. No question. Okay. I want us to move to. Uh, I want us to move to the to the sir. Please brief about some triple top. Yes, we are going to triple top. We are going to triple top right now. We we just did uh, uh we just did uh what we just did the on double top double bottom now we are going to triple top Mr Arshad we are going to triple top don't worry about that triple top triple bottom we are just going there now I'm asking if we have question concerning double top double bottom if there is no question you may allow me to proceed okay thank you so I share my screen again so we just go to we just go we just move to uh okay let's let's check let's check let me see if we have anything to do with euro swiss franc okay if we have anything to do with you see i had a position with euro swiss franc here uh okay let me let, let us discuss something about the euro swiss franc guys i see we have opportunity here uh we are discussing about double uh, triple triple we are discussing about what we are just discussing about triple Let's remove all these all these noises. Okay. Sorry. Uh, the market just acted very weird. Okay.
Okay. But uh, I was holding it. I was holding it. See, I was holding it. I was holding it. Okay. I want to remove all these stuffs, all these things, so that we can discuss uh, better about 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 this we call uh, triple top. Triple top. You see what you see what I'm I'm looking at, guys. Okay. You see this thing that I'm looking at. You can see. Uh, let me. You can see this top, top, top. Uh, I'm guessing the market is creating is creating these stars. This we can we can consider this as triple top. We can consider this as let me let me let me, let me just do this. We can consider this as triple top one two three. They should not they should not be at the same level, but they are indeed triple top. If you see, one two three, one two three. Uh, the one which is at the lowest, this one. You can see the market. Uh, you can see the market. The market didn't close. The market didn't didn't close. You can see the, the, the lowest top on these three is this one. And you can see the market just respected these levels. The market didn't close. The market here, the market here didn't close above any of these tops. Didn't close above any of these tops. It just closed below the, the, the lowest top here. Just closed the, below the lowest top top. And there is no candle uh, closing or opening the candle above this. You can see why? Why do I concentrate on that? Why do I concentrate on that? Why is that very important? Because if the market closed above the, the uh, above the, the, the low top, that means it, it, the market could have, one, uh, could have a possibility of continuing upward. But the market just closed it uh, below, which means which means that uh, we uh, can expect for some kind of bearish. Bearish. You see, I had a selling position. <laughs> The market went on my side. The market did went on my side, but I did. I, I just decided to hold. Now it's just going, just going up. I still hold. <laughs> I still hold. No stop loss, of course. I have no stop loss because just I just used a smaller volume, smaller lot size, so it cannot affect me much. So I'm just holding them. Uh, no problem about that. So uh, I, I'm convinced that this is the this is the what this is the triple top. And so since the market has formed the triple top, I'm convinced that uh, the market might might drop um, drop a little bit, maybe before just going up again. But I have I have this I have this I have this triple top here. So this triple top, you see, guys, the same triple top. You can see this the triple top formed there, and most of triple top neckline. Most of triple top neckline are at this level. You can see when drawing the neckline on triple top, consider the rejection of both. The consider where there is a rejection of both of all tops. You can see one, two, three. This is the neckline. So since this is the neckline, the maximum, the maximum uh, target to consider, if the if the market respected this triple top, the same. You can see, you can see, maximum target there. So, how many pips? About uh, about forty-three. Or, or we can just say fifty pips. It might come back to this point before. Yeah. Okay. So, so you may consider that. So, this is a triple top that I made to start with. We can also look for the different for the other one. Uh, some more. Okay. You just look for some more, some more, maybe some more. Uh, uh, this was a clear head and shoulder. You can see head, shoulder, shoulder, then boom. You can see, guys, we missed it, but <laughs> you can see what the market is doing. All right, so that's that's exactly what I wanted you guys to. So that is triple top, triple top. That was triple top. Maybe, uh, you know. Sometimes when looking at this market, you might slap yourself because you missed some opportunities. 
you can see GBP buying big times and we missed it. You can see here we have uh, inverse of head and shoulder, shoulder, head, shoulder, shoulder, then boom, level one, two, uh, market grab level two. Now I expect big move, uh, MCD, MCD. So this is, uh, this is what, this is NCD JPY. This is NCD. So you can see another another triple top. One, two, three, and the market dropped. You can see one, two, three, the market. One, two, three, the market dropped. You can see, and here was the neckline. The neckline, uh, just, just where, neckline. See you guys. So this is it, you can see. Take that one, let's put it there. So you can see guys, it's, it's very interesting. Yeah? So this is the double, uh, tri, uh, the, the triple, triple top. The same thing, you can, you can, you can, this, you can just look for the same thing on, you can just look for the same thing on what? On, on triple bottom, triple bottom. The same way I just drew, the same way I just, you can see we have triple, uh, double, triple bottom. One, two, three. So, boom, you can expect something like that. Uh, the same thing, the same way, the same way. So, that's how it is, that's how it is. So it's not something very, very strange to identify. It's something that's very clear and uh, you can see it there. All right, guys, so we are done with that. We're done with that. Uh, those are the common chart patterns that we, we, we can see in the market. The other part in which I just said about uh, descending triangle, ascending triangle, are not uh, occurring often in the market. But uh, once you see them, uh, descending triangle are just like this. You see, you can see the market creating something like that. Okay. And so, if if the market made a breakout, you can see the market behaving inside this this thing. Uh, inside this, uh, inside this. So the center triangle also, you can see the market maybe uh, doing something like this, made a breakout or something like this. So breakout above, it's a, it's a bullish. Breakout below, it's a bearish. So that's, a, that's what it means by uh, descending triangle. Uh, uh, ascending triangle, uh, it might happen, uh, just happen this way, uh, descending triangle, uh, something like that, ascending triangle, ascending triangle, uh, something like that. So you see something going like that, the same thing, the market behaving inside, so at a breakout, maybe above or below is also, is also, I'm just drawing, I'm not drawing using the chart, but I'm just drawing, showing that how you can also see this stuff. So in a breakout above this level is bullish and a breakout below is, so this is what happened in the market when we, when, when we discuss about that. So those are chart patterns and uh, you have to consider that when, when trading in the forest market. All right, guys, any question? Okay, any question? <clears throat> any question, guys? No questions, sir. Thank you, Mr. Arshad. I think we are, we are done there today. That was our presentation. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask. Do not hesitate to ask in our, in our group, in our mentorship group. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Larry. Thank you, Mr. Larry, we are together. All right, all right, Mr. Eroli, thank you. I think that today's lesson was very clear. And uh, we are done there. Uh, maybe I should say, I should say, God bless you guys for your time here. We meet, we meet uh, tomorrow. I'll, I'll not be here with you guys because tomorrow is Sunday, and the Sunday uh, I have, I, have I, I must have some, some stuff to do. So we meet on Monday. But to make sure you send me, make sure you send me, you send me. Uh, you send me you send me the chat analyze chat using this strategy on the 
mentorship group, guys. I want to see. I want to see the chat uh, using this, these stuffs. This is very important for me because I want to see if we are together. Thank you, guys. So, Mr. Tonkin is saying so triangles, so triangles act like some sort of consolidation before breakout. Yes, uh, kind of, tri of consolidation, but it has to create three tops. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Arsh, uh, Mr. Arshad is asking if I can share the previous notes in the group. The, the previous notes had some problems, uh, some problems with what? With, uh, we had some problems with internet, so it's not very clear. It's not very clear, but I'll see if I can share. Uh, uh, Mr. Herod, your package is so powerful, you can send to us for future use. Yes, this one has, I have to upload this one. Uh, this one will be uploaded in our YouTube channel, so don't worry about that, guys. It will be uploaded, and then you'll see everything there. All right, thank you, guys. I have to end this meeting, and uh, I'll share uh, what uh, what needed to be shared. And uh, see, remember, guys, we also have our services like Signal Services. If you want to subscribe to our Signal Services to learn more, make sure you subscribe to our Signal Services. You can just pay your you can just pay your 23 USD per month, 23 USD, 23 USD per month, or 50,000 T shillings per month, and uh, we, we we can proceed from there. You know, we we provided the signal services, uh, not just for selling the signals. Just we just need you guys to learn from our signals. And uh, also, for those who have not yet renewed their subscription for this mentorship program, please make sure you do so, because we are not going to allow other people on our program if they have not just paid for it. If you want to join our mentorship program, guys, uh, for those who are, are in Tanzania, it's just 20, uh, 25,000 teachings. You just get an access to our mentorship program. Uh, 25 teaching, 25,000 teachings per month, and uh, for those who are in the other countries, from Pakistan, from India, you just pay 12 USD. Payment methods you can pay through our Skrill, our Skrill, our our our, our, our Skrill uh, email, and uh, or Netella through Skrill and uh, Netella. Or for those who are in East Africa, you can pay through M-Pesa. The numbers will be given. Uh, uh, on the link below of this of this of this of this of this channel. Thank you guys. God bless you.